What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you guys can see, I'm in the fourth gen. Um, I didn't take out the third gen. Usually this is the truck that I'm driving throughout the week anyways. Um, and as you guys can see, the trailer is empty. We are currently on our way to Mannheim in Concord. It's pretty much Mannheim, Charlotte. That's what they call it, but it's in Concord. Uh, we're gonna go pick up three there and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So let's get it. You guys aren't from the South. If you've never tried cheer wine, it's freaking amazing. You guys need to try it. Anyways, in today's video, I want to go over something that I get asked a lot about. Literally, like, I get asked this almost every single time I talk about trucking. Um, and the question is, is trucking dead? Is hotshot trucking still worth it in 2024? Um, and that's what I want to go over with you guys. So let's get it. I've been hotshot trucking for about two years now and from what i can say it's a hate and love relationship honestly um if you're not dedicated to this and can't take some pressure you're not gonna last in this industry um from what i can from what i can tell you because there are some days where it's man there are some days where you're gonna be like damn it i didn't make no money today and there are gonna be days where it's like hell yeah I didn't cashed out. But just like anything, you're always gonna take L's, 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 but it's always that one W that wins, right? That one W that matters. If you think that this is something that you're gonna come into and make money every day, have um, a sustainable income, it's possible, but it's gonna be very hard. You're always gonna have your ups and downs, you're always gonna have trouble, either this that you're gonna have a flat tire that is gonna come out of your pocket you're gonna have repairs that are gonna come out of your pocket so you got to make sure when your truck is moving it has to make sense you know what I mean to answer your question trucking for me is in the middle right now because people say that it's dead because of the rates. The rates are extremely low right now. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now, off the get-go. If anybody uses Central Dispatch or any load board, no load board is paying you good right now. Um, it's really hard to find good paying loads. The only way that you're gonna make money right now is hauling even more. So you gotta work yourself even more to make as much as you was making about two years ago. And from the time that I started to now, rates have dropped drastically. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, not saying that you can't make money in this industry. You still can. You just gotta work extra hard. You get what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. Um, if this is something that you're interested in doing, I would definitely go ahead and try it. Try it out. Go ahead and and, and start hauling vehicles for somebody. Um, not necessarily do you have to get on a, on a load board to go ahead and start hauling vehicles um, for somebody. You know what I mean? I mean, eventually, if you start doing it every day and 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 this is your main income, um, go ahead and you know obviously get your DOT number, your MC number, uh, insurance, all that stuff. But some some local dealerships will actually need you to haul vehicles. So try that out. See how that goes. Get a set rate from them. You know what I mean? See if you like it. If you don't like it, don't get into it. And please, guys, please, please, for the love of God, don't go and put yourself in debt before even getting your first load, okay? Please don't do that. I've seen so many guys come in here with a $80,000 truck and then a $20,000 trailer and not even be able to pay it at the end and then end up just closing the whole company down and honestly that is not the right way to do it I'm gonna be a hundred percent with you um, fortunately the way I did it worked out for me I'm gonna share it with you guys my first truck was a 2006 Ram 3500 uh, 5.9 G56 two-wheel drive truck man I still have it on the channel as you guys can see I'm gonna leave a video right here but man that truck is freaking amazing to me I straight up paid it off when I bought it um, same goes for the trailer Bought the trailer straight up as well. Um, so the equipment wasn't 
in debt, you know? So it, was, it wasn't a liability for me if I wasn't making, if I wasn't making my quota for the day, I didn't have to pay off my equipment. You know what I mean? Eventually after a while, I got the fourth gen truck and that's when I started to get into um, financing. You know what I mean? The fourth gen truck, I did finance it and all that. But that was after like a year or a year and a half. You know what I mean? After I already knew the business. That's just my opinion. Like I said in the, in the previous video, everybody's gonna do what they wanna do. Do whatever makes you happy. Um, obviously, I'm not paying your bills. You're gonna pay your bills. So go ahead and do whatever you wanna do. But I'm just giving you my opinion on what the right way to do it, what the right way to start is. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's my opinion on is trucking dead. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment in the section below. I wanna hear your guys' opinions as well. So, yeah. We're on our way to Concord, like I said, to pick up three vehicles, and then we gotta go drop those off. So, I'm gonna pick you guys right back up, right? got here we actually got to the auction you guys can see um i'm gonna go inside come go get these cars i'm not even sure what, what they are i forgot to look at the freaking gate passes but i'm gonna check them out right now and i'm gonna pick you guys right back up right first vehicle we are looking for is going to be a 2016 bmw m4 so that's probably going to be the nicest vehicle out of all three of them honestly and i can't seem to find it is it this one right here? Is it this one? I thought it was this one, but it is not this one. This is an M4 though. It should be around here somewhere. Oh, is it this one? It might be this one actually. It's a little vert. Holy crap, look. You gotta note stuff like that down. Then they wanna charge you for stuff like that, you know what I mean? And this is it. This is it, guys. I found it. All right, so that's definitely noteworthy. Let's see what else is noteworthy. I always like to do a little walk around before I actually even get in the car, just so I know what I'm working with. Um, everything else seems pretty legit. Just that tail light. A couple scuffs on the roof here. Ooh, the bloody interior? Holy crap, guys. I would kill for this in my car. I've always, oh my God, look at the freaking interior. I have a soft spot for these Beamers, man. I really do have a soft spot for these Beamers. They're so freaking nice. Look at this one, this one has carbon fiber and everything. Carbon on the dash, carbon right here. On the shifter, let's go ahead and start to suck her up. All right, all right. Pretty legit. I honestly really, really love this interior. What I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go look for the rest of these cars. Cause that's what, usually what I do. I hop in one vehicle, then I go ahead and look for the rest of them. Because, then I have a mental note on where I have to come back to, you know? I'm not over here running around looking for these cars one by one. It just makes the job easier and faster. Alright, so M4 is at the trailer. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of these cars back to the trailer. Get these loaded up. And then we can get back on the road. Let's get it. I'm pumped, guys. I'm pumped. If you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button like the video share it we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers I know we can do it um, we've been gaining subscribers quite significantly um, since that one video that I made about hauling with my third gen 
like why the Ram 3500 is the ultimate tow rig. Let me know if you guys like that video, if I should make more videos like that, or if I should make more videos on the third gen. Um, let me know. Obviously, I'm making these videos for you guys, so I like some feedback. But yeah, let's go get the rest of these vehicles, and then I'm going to pick you guys right back up. We are lit. So we got all three vehicles to the trailer. We got the M4 and these two Range Rovers. Pretty nice lineup, honestly. Excited to see how they look on the trailer. All three vehicles are loaded up on the trailer. Check this out, guys, on this M4. This exhaust is pretty neat. It's one of those that change color. I forgot what they're called, but you guys probably know in the comment section below. Um, it's pretty neat exhaust. It looks aftermarket, of course. Sorry, guys, I'm a freak for Beamers. As many of you know, I have a 435, but I've had for almost three years already. Um, probably looking into something else. I kind of was looking at an M4. Might ask about that one. <laughs> we made it, guys. Wasn't too far of a drive. Um, took about 30 45 minutes to get here uh, not too bad I don't have to make a couple other runs I'm not sure if I might have time today to do them but let's get these off the trailer and get them delivered and I'm gonna pick you guys right back up So I went ahead and dropped off those three that I showed you guys in uh, in Charlotte. Then I had to come down here to Spartanburg, North Carolina. And I got to pick one up here and then go back to North Carolina. So just hopping through states, you know. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I think that should finish out my day, honestly. I don't know, unless somebody else calls me. But I'll keep you guys updated. So we got this Dodge Journey loaded up on the trailer. They loaded it up with the with the actual uh, loader, one of those loaders. But we got this thing loaded up. Spartanburg used to be one of those places where you used to show up, you used to wait here for about two hours. They've actually stepped up their game. Uh, recently, I've been coming here a lot and they get you loaded up in about 20, 30 minutes. And, you know, obviously they have other vehicles to load up too so that's pretty quick compared to what they used to do you guys know anybody at this branch they're doing a great job all right guys so we actually just made it back to home base um, this is actually where I'm in today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and go ahead and leave a comment in the section below it helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it'll help us grow we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So let's get it, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.